Jordan, my older brother, is a celebrity. And my biggest secret. Our parents moved us both to London when he hit it big. At 15, he won a Britain's Most Handsome Teen competition for a magazine, which plunged him into the crazy world of modeling, social media virility, and reality TV. I am incredibly proud of him. He's worked so hard for his success. However, I take my duties as a younger sister seriously. So I humble and bully him mercilessly. Someone has to keep him grounded. I've also kept him a secret for the entire time I've been in school. From the age of 14, you could not have tortured the information out of me. With only a few months left until I escaped school entirely, the end was finally near. It's not that I was ashamed of him. I just didn't want the attention. I've had to sit through so many conversations like, oh my God, Jordan DeWitt just posted on his Instagram story. <gasps> Look how fit Jordan DeWitt is. And <gasps> I just want to meet Jordan DeWitt. But I want people to love me for me. No fake friends, please. Little did they know I would go home after school and find Jordan sitting on the sofa playing video games. It was an effortless secret to keep. DeWitt was a fake name, so people didn't put us together. We didn't even really look alike. He's tall, athletic, your typical heartthrob that looks like he's in a boy band. I'm just not. But we have the same eyes, green with tiny flecks of blue, like a spring meadow. He's kind enough to drop me off at school, but I made him stop a few streets away to avoid observant eyes. He just laughed at me and told me I'd take life too seriously. School was never easy for me. I just never seemed to fit. Some people just win the popularity lottery and I certainly didn't, but that didn't bother me because my bestie Emma was always there for me. When people threw pencils at me, when they took my lunch, even when someone made a fake Facebook profile of me, Emma was there. Even when Becca, one of the popular girls, invited me to go clubbing and gave me the address for a male strip club, <sighs> Emma was there for me. She's my ride or die friend. Emma was just like me. She loved video games, theater, and singing loudly in the car. She had light brown hair that I had never seen worn down and thick rimmed glasses. And her head was constantly buried in a book. Importantly, she was the only person who knew about my brother. Emma and I were sitting at the table during lunch when Becca walked over to me with a grin that could have made the Cheshire cat jealous. Hey, my dear, she said to me with a little wave. She had never made conversation with me before this moment. Ah, uh, I hesitated. Hi! I looked over to Emma for support, but she looked as confused as I felt. How are you doing? Becca asked, a big smile still plastered on her face. Uh, I'm fine, I said with a slow nod, assuming this was another prank. Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to come to my party this weekend, she said after a pause. Oh, I said stunned. I'll think about it. My heart thundered in my chest. I'd never been invited to a party before. Sure. Somehow her smile grew even wider. I'll find you on Insta and just message me when you decide. She quickly turned around and walked back over to her friends who were watching excitedly. When I messaged her later asking if Emma could come, I got a polite message back along the lines of, I'd rather keep this party small. Maybe next time though. I got a bad vibe and I definitely wasn't going anywhere without Emma. I declined and tried to move on with my life. Soon, the popular people were always making conversation with me, offering to take me shopping and invite me to their parties. Of course, I never went because Emma was explicitly not invited, but this didn't deter them. A few weeks after the initial invite, I was standing in line for food when Becca made another appearance. Her usual feral grin painted over her face. Emma was busy with prom so close. She was getting a trial hair and makeup session done. She leaned in and said, Hi, my dear. Hi, Becca. I said politely as I moved forward in the queue. I was wondering if you wanted to come to my pool party this weekend, she said. Uh, I'm busy, sorry, I said. Uh, that's okay, she said quickly, then hesitated slightly. Is your brother busy too? My stomach dropped and my breath caught in my throat. The room seemed to expand and shrink all at the same time. Uh, uh, um, I stuttered. Yeah, it's a family thing. I regretted it the moment I said it. I seemed to accidentally confirm her suspicions. Uh, that's okay, she said. I'll see you soon. She rushed off again, leaving me trembling. 
Someone must have seen him drop me off at school. That's the only explanation. I immediately texted Emma and arranged to meet that night. Later that day, I sat in the house and talked to Jordan about everything. I don't see how it's a big deal, Jordan said with a shrug. Especially if everyone's nicer to you now. But it's fake, I said. So? He said. <laughs> but I was interrupted by the doorbell. Jordan jumped to his feet and answered the door, only to stop and stare at the person there. Hey guys, Emma said, open as she walked into the room. Emma was always cute. She had a little button nose and doe eyes, but the fully glam version of Emma was a knockout. Her hair was long and curled. It seemed to bounce on her shoulders. Her face was perfectly painted with makeup flattering her blue eyes, which she usually hides behind glasses. She walked in with her head held a little higher and with a confident smile that I'd never seen on her before. Emma, I said, partially speechless. You look incredible. Thank you, she said with a theatrical curtsy. My cousin's in training to be a beautician and begged to do my hair and makeup for prom. Absolutely beautiful, Jordan said, his eyes drinking into her. Emma blushed and took a seat next to me. I looked between them and knew instantly that my brother wasn't going to let it drop. The popular people in school eventually shut up and stopped bothering me and I didn't even have to do anything. Emma did it for me. When it was clear Emma was dating the famous Jordan DeWitt, suddenly my problems at school all seemed to fade away. Like I said, Emma was my ride or die friend. Perhaps everyone knowing about my brother wasn't a bad thing after all. Popularity isn't everything. While being popular can have certain advantages, the most important thing is to focus on being true to yourself, pursuing your passions and living a life that's meaningful to you. While it is certainly nice to be well liked and respected by others, this should not be the sole focus of your attention or effort. Can you relate? I'd love to hear your comments. Like and subscribe to this channel for more real life stories.